so we would get into these big debates, you know, and she keep telling me, you know, he's just not my type. He's not my type. And I, I don't know how many times I would tell her there's, there's no such thing as type. There's styles, you know, there's, you know, preppy and goth and skater. You can, you can be, they don't have the style that I like, but it's all about attraction when it boils down to it. You're either attracted or you're not. There's no, I'm not, a, you know. There's no, uh, oh, I don't like him because he's a skater guy. No, he, there's something about his personality or his physical appearance. And she goes, well, what makes you the expert? And I'm like, eh, you know what? I'm not not saying I'm an expert, but, and I and I broke it down as best I could for her. I was just like, you know, I'm, I'm not a picky person. I like my women the same way I like my Kool-Aid. Sweet and without a penis. Welcome to the Roughneck. Rico's Roughnecks! <laughs> What is up gamers, YouTubers, Roughnecks, and all you sports enthusiasts out there, it is your boy DL Rico. Uh, it is, what is the day? Oh god, I'm losing track of my days. It is Friday. Uh, first, one of the shout outs to my, one of my best buds from uh, since junior high, uh, Aaron, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday, you old piece of shit, man. We are both 30, that is freaking ridiculous. Uh, so shouts out to Aaron, hope you're having a good birthday, hopefully uh, you know we can hang out before you have to leave this weekend. Even then, you know, we'll always do it up when we see each other. So, uh, yeah, that's first off. Uh, yeah, Friday. Usually I do a yeah, I throwback Thursday or flashback Friday. I was actually working on this video yesterday. Kind of got distracted. Had a lady friend over. Not going to get into details. It was a pretty good time, though. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I just put an image into your head. and I'm totally not even like that. So, um, I don't know why I'm getting into that. I just <laughs> anyway, it's been a great day so far. Uh, I'm definitely uh, I'm I'm definitely feeling good. I beat. I'm gonna go out tonight. Uh, probably just go uh, hang out, watch a movie, and um, yeah, play it chill. Uh, today, what I wanted to talk about was uh, King James. I have already expressed my opinion about him in the past. Uh, you all know how I feel about his uh, particular legacy, his comparison to the greatest of all time, Michael Jordan. Uh, so I'm just going to skip all that and go right into the big announcement of the day, uh, which I'm glad they didn't have a whole other two-hour special on, on uh, ESPN about with the decision 2.0. Uh, but he, ha LeBron James, has decided to go back to the Cleveland Cavaliers and give his hand at, uh, he claims, to mentor and um, want to lead them to another uh, championship. So if you, and if you go to uh, sportsillustrated.com, they actually have a, um, they have a letter uh, and put it up on their website that uh, LeBron James had written out. And that's how pretty much the whole world found out he wrote this letter uh he changed a uh, a picture up on his website or something showing that he's coming home to cleveland and um but the letter i'm just gonna go ahead and like just kind of quickly paraphrase some of the things that he said but uh first he addresses um about his home in in, in uh, northeast ohio how it was you know his where he grew up that's where he bled it's where he remembers working hard and he went to uh, he acknowledges that he only went uh or that Miami has uh, provided him with amazing four years. Uh, he left because of the team that Miami had established. Um, uh, you know, uh, nothing, I mean, nothing new that uh, we, we already didn't know. Uh, but then he goes on to say uh, that he was, you know, he was seeking championships. Um, but now that, uh, now that the run is over, he realizes that he just, his city... His um, state hasn't hasn't had that feeling of having a title being brought home, and um, so now that's again that's where he wants to uh, that's what he wants to do. He wants to go there, be a mentor, be a leader, and uh, hopefully send them and, or bring them to the finals and, and give them a little edge up in, in uh, completing that uh, completing that tasks. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll read you a little excerpt from it. Quote. Uh, I'm not promising a championship. I know how hard it is to deliver. We're not ready right now. No way. Of course, I want to win next year, but I'm realistic. It will be a long process, much longer than it was in 2010. Uh, my patience will get tested. I know that. I'm going into a situation with a young team and a new coach. I will be the old head, but I get a thrill out of bringing a group together and helping them reach a place they didn't know that they could go. Um, and then uh, he goes on to say... 
uh, talk about the kids and uh, his um, those that looked up to him, uh, saying again, quote, uh, I want the kids of Northeast Ohio, like the hundreds of Akron third graders I sponsor in my foundation, to realize that there's no better place to grow up. Maybe some of them will come home after college and uh, start a family or open a business. That would make me smile. Our community, which has struggled so much, needs all that all the talent it can get uh in northeast ohio nothing is given everything is earned you work for what you have i am ready to accept the challenge i am coming home um and end quote um but uh, so it sounds like uh i want to give him credit and say he's he's definitely grown up a lot more than uh, when he first made the decision to um to go to uh, south beach in miami and um obtain his championships there uh he actually talked about his experience in miami as uh and again of course just paraphrasing that it was like a, a college experience he left for four years to um and it was like a party you know uh i guess his now his uh his wife is pregnant with their third child and he started kind of focusing more on family focusing more on what he wants uh as far as them not just his own desires so i think that's that's kind of big of him um now as far as his decision to move back to cleveland i'm kind of wondering would this decision have even been brought up if they won their third straight title if their third straight title had been achieved would this conversation would this decision would all these free agencies um have taken place would bosch have even considered going to the houston rockets would lebron have opted out you know to pursue his free agency if they had sh i don't know what a better way to say it but shown up in this past hey, nba finals Brock, would this uh, would everything be going down and even though and you know we'll never know that answer but uh with the situation that we're given what is to happen um what is going to happen of the uh of the cleveland cavaliers and their fans um there's these t-shirts that say forgiven where the g is a six which i guess lebron is not going to be uh donning the number 23 which i'm, I'm totally for i never wanted him to have the 23 uh, but uh they have these forgiven t-shirts does the city really forgive him or does he need to prove himself uh as as that mentor as that team leader and as that force to bring um bring his city and his state a title in order for the the fans to you know kind of welcome back with open arms um i'm not really sure uh i know for me i i can't even compare it because jordan never left his team i know if he did I would be totally heartbroken uh, if he, let's see, if he, if he had left, if he had retired the first time, got his three championships, retired, and then came back, but came back to a different team. Um, let's see, who was, uh, who was a good team at the time? Maybe he went to the, let's say he went to the Jazz, and he teamed up with Carmelo, John Stockton, Jeff Hornacek, um, Byron Scott, and, and, all those, and all those players. And he led them to their championship. How would I feel? And then he wants to come back to Chicago after their run, maybe getting a three-peat over there, wanting to come back to Chicago after their run, and maybe closing out his career, maybe going for another championship. I don't know. But um, I, I'm not sure. I would have mixed feelings about that. Uh, once you've, at least for me, once you've been kind of betrayed by somebody that you looked up to idolized and just kind of held in, in this highest regards as far as just uh, as far as celebrity icon and um like kind of like sports mentor so to speak uh like my my trust would have been totally shaken and i don't know if i i could have me personally we could have recovered like that and um i kind of that's what i'm kind of wondering about the cleveland fans what do they have to say about that i haven't heard too much of i mean there's a lot of shock still like oh he's coming home kind of thing so i don't really think there's a whole lot of cleveland um people that are that have really spoken out there yet uh they all the twitter feeds are from like colleagues and and other and sports writers saying like oh you know it's such a great it's such a great move and it's like uh you never know yeah i I think he's. I think he understands how he let people down, 
And actually, it does talk about that in his letter. He understands that uh, he felt he let the uh, city down, that he left a lot of like kind of broken hearts over there. Uh, and he's he's willing to um, accept that accept that challenge and accept uh, that he's going to get a lot of people that haven't forgiven him yet. Uh, so uh, I'm just kind of now I'm kind of curious as to what to now to what to happen what's going to happen. It's it's not the same as when he left to Miami. There's no party. There's no like I said. There's no big ESPN big decision thing. He just flat out he wrote this essay. Uh, and of course he didn't have to do I, I think that was a really that's a really big and classy move of his um, that he decided to do it this way kind of quiet under the radar and um, just real per it just has a more of a personal touch rather than just like a selfish kind of touch so uh, so I'm not to say <laughs> not to say that I my personal opinion is any different from his from what I have felt for him uh, as a player, but it is definitely showing a lot of character, uh, what he has done thus far in uh, his, um, in his now. decision to come back home. So, yeah, what does this mean for the, for the, uh, Cavaliers? They have a very young team, um, they're gonna have to, you know, make do, they have a new coach that he has to kind of try to find a way to gel with. I don't know how much of a, more of a team player he is, uh, he says he's learned a lot and grown as a player, and it's like you, you might have, you might have found a way to be a little bit more dominant because of the uh, support that you had from the people in Miami. But these young guns, young guns, they always have, they always feel like they have something to prove, you know. So they, um, I'm not gonna say that they're ball hogs, but they definitely. I, I'm sure that they're gonna look up to him and try to follow him as a leader, but at the same time, it's like. You're on the older bench. You know, you're on the older side of things. It's going to be us that takes over in four, five years, you know, when you're gone. No, there's no telling if you're going to help us get a championship. There's no telling if uh, if we're going to even make it that far just because you're on our team. So, uh, yeah, I, it's, God, it's, I'm just kind of anxious to see how it goes now. Uh, I have never been this interested in James, LeBron James's affairs uh, and his uh, endeavors within the uh, within the NBA NBA world. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, what do you guys think? How do you do? Do you think this is gonna work out? Do you think he's actually gonna make something happen, or uh, is it just kind of? Uh, I think it's just. I think this is another. The the way he's gone about it showed a lot of class a lot of reserve and a lot of uh a lot of poise and um just again had a personal touch to it but at the same time i think he realizes that he's exhausted his outlet over at miami there's no there's no way for the, i don't see them winning a championship in the next five years even if they kept even if they got rid of bosch and they brought over like carmelo anthony um they have d wade I don't even know if D-Wade, because D-Wade's getting on the older end, and he really struggled in these past finals. So no matter what roster you want to put LeBron with, granted with his talents and, and the, the talent that is out there to be able to com, uh, combine him with, there I don't think that there is a secure enough way for Miami to go out there and achieve what uh, LeBron has wanted to and set out to do he wants multiple championships he wants to solidify his legacy to be one of the greatest if not the greatest of all time and i just don't see him i think he finally realizes like i had my run this is it for me in miami so uh i'm done uh so again while he has a nice personal and a nice kind of heartfelt way to go about this change of scenery and change of uh change of teams in the uh in these games i still have this it still just seems like this a, a selfish move. Like, okay, I can't win with you, so uh, I'm out of here. I'm bouncing. Um, oh, my fucking God. Yeah, just like you did with Cleveland. But anyway, uh, what do you guys think? I mean, do you do you feel like he's more? this is more of a selfish thing? Or do you think he's genuinely, like, I I'm, was homesick this home time or whatever? You know, I don't take for granted the experiences I've had, but... Uh, 
I just want to come home. I know my career is like on its on its end, so I want to finish it out there. I don't know. There's so many different reasons and so many different variables that uh, we can come up with as far as to the real uh, origin of his decision making. So, um, yeah. So, what do you guys think? Do you think it's uh, where do you think his his true heart is at? What do you think is going to happen with the Cleveland Cavaliers? Do you think he has enough? within him um, to lead this team, to drive this team, to motivate them to enough skill to, to ensure that they maybe get one title? I have no idea. Again, it's a young team. There's a lot of building that needs to do. If anything happens, I want to say it's probably going to take at least two to three years before they have another before they have another chance. Uh, San Antonio, I know, is going to be coming back, and they're going to be just as jellified as ever, especially with the new big three of Kawhi Leonard, uh, Boris Dia, and uh, uh, oh, Patty Mills got traded, so uh, Danny Green. So with those, the next big three stepping up in San Antonio, they are definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with. Um, so I don't know. It's Cleveland is. They could be happy to have him back. They could be kind of dreading it. Um, still kind of holding that grudge. We will only time will tell. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me, I'd, I'd like to see uh, what uh, if you're any of you are Cleveland fans out there. Let me know. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of out of time. I will uh, yeah leave a thumbs up if you like to subscribe if you're new to my channel, and uh, only time will tell. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Would you like to know more?